Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I uh, want to thank you for joining me today. I'm just taking a moment to share my video to my um, stampers group, uh, which reminds me, please, if you wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor and share my video, sharing is caring, and it's how I reach more crafty friends, customers, team members. Um, I did not announce that I was coming on at this time. I had a minor um, medical procedure done this morning, and before my freezing comes out and I start to get uncomfortable, I thought, let's just quickly jump on here and get my live um, out to you guys um, while I'm feeling okay. So today I am creating a fun, quick and easy card for you using some of the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper that is on sale right now um, for the month of October. It's regular $15.75, it's on for $13.39. Um, this is found on page uh, 25. It's 24 and 25 of the holiday um, catalog or the mini catalog as it's now called. This fabulous designer series paper um, has a lot of images that you can use to make a beautiful yet simple and quick cards. I have paired it with the uh, dies, the um, coming home dies. Is it called coming home? Let me just flip that. Home together dies. So this die here is going to create my swoop. Um, I have die cut out my house and my trees. And I am using the sentiment from Tree Angle, happy wishes to you and yours. So this is the fun and easy card. Oh, there's a very long Marcy hair on there. I shed just like the cats. <laughs> so um, I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up. Can you see that shimmer on there? Oh, so pretty. So what I did for that is I used my frost white um, uh, ink, a shimmer paint and a sponge dauber. So let's bring in our pieces. Oh, there's a dimensional backing. All right, so I have already embossed and um, cut my pieces to be a little faster. So with this die here, let me just pull this out, the home together dies. This one here, just cuts that swoop for the snowbank. So you can see that here was my piece of cardstock, and then you just take, you can see that it just the one edge has the cutting blade. So you just take it and place it however you want on your uh, cardstock and run it through your stamp and cut emboss machine. And then you're gonna actually get two pieces. Don't throw this piece out. I wanted this one to be a smidge bigger because I want to be able to uh, stamp my sentiment. But this one here, you can use for a card as well. So don't throw that out. It is a valuable, valuable piece of um, cardstock. So my card here, my house, as you can see, I've die cut out another house. This is straight from the designer series paper just fabulous and then I've got two of the little trees all right and then so let's put this one aside I have the winter snow embossing folder I have already um, embossed this so let's bring in our silicone craft sheet Shake this up. Hello, Melissa. Thanks for joining me. So we are just going to shake that up. And um, I'm just going to take my dauber and ink that up. Oh, there's quite a bit on there. So we just want to get 
some of that off. And then because this is embossed, we can just um, brush that across the center of those snowflakes just to add that bit more um, interest and dimension to that card front, making it so sparkly and pretty. And I'm just going lightly, adding here and there. Let's pick up a little bit more. Whoa, that's a little heavy there, but that's okay. Hello, Jeannie, how are you today? Thank you for joining me. And I'm coming down even though I know that most of this is gonna be covered by my um, snow bank. All right. Now, let's bring that up for you to see. Hopefully, you can see all of that beautiful shimmer it just adds that little bit more to your card front. So let's build our card. Okay. Oh, this here, let me just, I've got quite a bit right there. So if I use my dauber to pick that up and I can actually flip that and let's use that as the bottom instead because it's got quite a big blob there of that shimmer paint so when I say this is a quick and easy card I mean it's quick and easy the only prep is die cutting basically die cutting out um, your designer series paper and there are nice images that you don't even necessarily need the dies if you're not interested in the dies, you can just use the um, your scissors and snip them out. However, I think that the um, that bundle, the houses, and that with the uh, dies is gorgeous. All right, so we are going to stick that on, and this. Um, the coming home or trimming the town the um, coming home bundle the coming home stamp set is actually the Stampin up make a difference stamp this year um, the make a difference is um, every year they choose a um, a charity or a um, what are the right is that the right word they choose a, um, I'm struggling here, guys. <laughs> um, a, what am I looking for? What's my word? Um, they choose a charity uh, or You're watching and you still can't comment. That is so strange, Jeannie. Hmm. I wish I could help with that, but I'm just not quite sure. Um, Charity Foundation. Oh, thank you so much, Diana. I'm just, I am struggling. It must be the freezing. Did they freeze my brain? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually going to actually, no, nope, before I do that, because I don't want to, I don't want to um, get any of that shimmer on here. So I'm going to take my sentiment and stamp it. So stamping up, back to this, um, the charity or foundation, they donate um, a portion of the sales for this stamp set to um, infertility, adoption, and um, foster care, which is so amazing that, um, of course, I wanted to help that um, out by purchasing. So I'm going to go down towards the bottom, a little lower than the other one, to make sure I've got enough room. 
All right, so there we go. Now, I can take and add some of this beautiful shimmer paint to my edge, just this um, snowbank edge here. So I'm just going to take and, all right, so I'm just gonna brush it along the edge here. So that there's, depending on how you turn the card, you're gonna be able to see that little bit of frostiness. I am so glad that we still have this frost white. It is so fun and pretty to add to your project. So see, I've got just that little bit. I'm hoping that we can pick that up. All right. So now this gets lidded so I don't spill any of that. So we now put this on the back. And this is just glued straight down. It's just my houses and my trees that are um, dimensionaled up. And I'm putting a smidge more on the back here because this is embossed, the bottom layer. And I um, want to make sure that I've got enough adhesive on there to adhere it properly. So see, that's going to cover my little smudge. Ooh, this might be a little too long. It is, so I might have forgotten to trim that. So bring my scissors, and we're going to say that it's about this much. I'm just eyeballing it. And let's see. Oh, a hair more. Did a pretty good job there, but we need a hair more. Then I'm going to have to take goo gone to my scissors and get that off. Now, I need to tell you, I will not be live on Friday, although I already have a fabulous card for you. Um, we have three cords of wood being delivered at the cottage on Friday. Brad and I are going up Thursday night. And uh, Friday, we're having three cords of wood delivered. So guess what I'm doing this weekend? <laughs> yeah, so we'll have enough wood to keep us nice and toasty warm throughout the winter. Um, it's been a few years, so I seem to recall three cords of wood is an awful lot. All right, so then we are just going to... Um, Figure out our placement. Yeah, actually, Damon and Connor are coming as well. Um, and my nephews, my strong nephews, Colin and Chad. So um, I'll be on the making chili uh, detail um, instead. So of... Um, slugging wood. Last time I slugged the wood, but this time I'm going to get out of it. So I will happily be in the kitchen making lots of yummy food for the guys. Hello, uh, Rebecca. Thanks for joining. Yes, this is such a cute set and this paper. Oh, I just love it. All right. So this, we've got to think about this. We want it to be here. And then I want to put a small one here. And then um, for this here, because this is going to overlap. So I have to think about where this one is going. So this is going to go here. And then I think I probably need a teeny one here 
for the tip of my tree. So, yes. Yes, um, infertility and uh, adoption and foster care. What a fabulous um, foundation charity to choose. I have a friend that um, went through infertility and the treatments in that, and she has an amazing son now. Um, but I remember everything she went through. So I was so thrilled that Stampin' Up! chose this charity this year to, and foundations to uh, support. It's pretty awesome that this paper crafting company that I love so much does so much, gives so much. All right, so now let's peel off. I kind of want to do this first, figure out. So I think, yeah, that should be good there. We have a big blue spruce at the cottage that has seen better days, but Brad absolutely loves it. We all want it cut down, but Brad, he, he hits his golf balls into it. It's in the backyard. I say it causes all the mosquitoes. I love this um, winter snow embossing folder, Melissa. I use it so much. All right. How cute is that? And I am done. Like, look at that. It's adorable. And I didn't have to do it. I love to color. Hello, Debbie. Thank you for watching. I love to color, but I know not everybody does. And these houses, you know, you just, um, let me pull out this hole. I have already cut up, if you look here, I have all kinds of little houses already and the little trees cut out. Um, I just love this paper. So you've got all the different um, shapes and sizes as well. The back side is such a nice pattern as well, very um, neutral. But yeah, I mean, that was a quick and easy card. And adding that little bit of the um, shimmer to the to the embossing folder at the back just adds that little bit more to it. But yeah, you could easily mass produce so many of these um, for your holiday mail outs. So yeah, and thirteen thirty nine for that pack of D designer series paper is pretty great. So. Yeah, that wasn't even a whole half hour, was it? Thank you, Bella. Yeah, I really, um, I really like that. I just, I was yesterday, I was like, oh no, I, uh, I forgot I don't have a card for tomorrow. What am I going to do? I know I'm going to pull out some of my designer series paper and make a quick and easy card. And that's exactly what I did. So yeah, you could bling it up even more, add some ribbon, add a couple houses, um, whatever you chose but uh, if you're looking for quick and easy this is definitely um, the way to go you hated stacking wood and picking rocks and all that stuff I don't mind stacking wood um, or at least the last time I did it it was it was a lot of work but that was a few years ago and I was a few years younger so um, now I'm pretty sure that if I was going to do it, I would be uh, pretty sore <laughs> the next day. Um, but I have a bunch of young men that are going to be um, doing that. And then uh, Brad, I'm sure, will be uh, running his um, wood splitter and getting it all um, split up for the wood stove inside the cottage. So, uh, yeah. So I will... The, um, I've got, like I said, my video on Friday, I ha am doing the Christmas means more, um, stamp set with the plaid tidings. 
designer series paper, another paper that is on sale. I'm going to give you a really quick little, whoop, there it is. That is Friday's card. So be sure to tune in Friday. Um, my uh, post goes live at uh, 6 a.m. I believe. So you could uh, watch my video while you're drinking your morning coffee. All right, so I am going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, um, you can contact me directly to place your order for you, or you can shop my online store. Please use this month's host code if you're shopping my online store. And if you have any questions at all, please uh, feel free to contact me. Um, I'm only happy to help. Um, with anything that you might need and don't forget to share my video sharing is caring and if you're watching the replay on YouTube please click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell um, so that way you don't miss any future videos from me alrighty then so I am off for the day and um, don't forget to check out my video on Friday the blog post um, we'll be live shortly for this card here with all of the measurements as well as a complete list of the products that I used. All right. Bye for now, everybody.